Hello there everyone, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another video. Now, it's been around a year since I took you through my Big Finish collection. Now, I've been very lucky to assemble quite a large Big Finish collection over the past few years. I started mainly collecting and listening to them during the pandemic, during the days of lockdown, and as you can see, it's amassed into, into quite the beast. Now, what you're seeing here is footage from that last collection video in 2023. And at first I thought about doing another collection video, but with it only being a year, I thought, well, why not just go through what I've hauled in the last year, in the last 12 months, what Big Finish releases have I picked up and listened to? So I'm going to take you through each of those. Now, we're going to go through them one by one. Some of them, I might just say the title and the stories within and move on. Some of them, I might stop and take pause and give some comments. That's not slight on any box set that doesn't get extra mention in particular. It's just ones I feel like I want to talk about and others I may not do. So without further ado, let's go back to April 2023 and let's get into it. We begin with the Fifth Doctor Adventures. Conflicts of Interest. In the far future and the recent past, the Doctor, Nyssa and Tegan discover that humans can be monsters too. This box set features Friendly Fire by John Dorney and The Edge of the War by Jonathan Barnes. And there's also a bonus download audiobook, Gobbledygook by Fraser Lee, which is performed by Dan Starkey. Rani takes on the world beyond Bannerman Road. Life on Bannerman Road was always an adventure for Rani Chandra and her friends, a childhood of mystery and wonder, of meeting aliens, time travellers, lost princes, intergalactic robots and so much more, all alongside Sarah Jane Smith. Sarah Jane is gone, childhood ends, everyone grows up eventually, but the story doesn't stop there. When Rani and Clyde are reunited, adventure finds them once again, ready and waiting to take on the world. This box set features the stories Here Today by Joseph Lister, Destination Wedding by James Goss, and The Witching Tree by Lizzie Hopley. This is such a treat of a box set, especially if you were a fan of the Sarah Jane adventures back in the day. Now, I mainly watched series one and two of Sarah Jane, and then I think I stopped watching it, not because I didn't like it, just because I think I was at that age where I was moving on to other things. I was subconsciously tuning into different programs, but I really enjoyed this. It's great to have so many members of the original cast back and giving these great performances. The stories as well are a really nice little trilogy bundled together, catching you up with where these characters are at now, particularly Rani and Clyde, and their dynamic is just as strong as ever. So highly recommend this, particularly if, if you're a fan of the SJA era. Doctor Who, once and future, past lives. The Time War. The Doctor has been injured and brought to a Time Lord Field Hospital. His body glows with energy, but this is no regeneration into a future form. Instead, the Doctor's past faces begin to appear as he fits haphazardly between incarnations. This is the beginning of what was the 60th anniversary series that Big Finish did to tie in with the main franchise. So we kick off with the fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane meeting Kate Lethbridge-Stewart and Osgood in Our Future. Always nice to see these little pairings. And trust me, it's not going to be the last pairing you see. The ninth Doctor adventures, Pioneers. The Doctor meets many remarkable people on his travels, those at the forefront of innovation and exploration, from a deep space colony ship seeking safe haven to the frozen Arctic wastes and the foundation of ideas which will touch the lives of millions. The Doctor is there to lend a hand to the human race's greatest pioneers. This box set features the stories The Green Gift by Roy Gill, Northern Lights by Robert Valentine, and The Beautiful Game by Catherine Armitage. Now, I'm a bit biased towards this box set, obviously because, as you might have seen on the cover, that's me. Um, so, <laughs> But it was great fun to be in The Green Gift, a wonderful follow-up story for Callan and Doyle. The other two stories are fab as well, Northern Lights and The Beautiful Game. The Beautiful Game in particular, sort of touching on the you know, core aspects of football and meanings behind it and all that sort of stuff. Really recommend this box set. If for that story alone, The War Doctor begins, Comrades in Arms. The Doctor is no more. A warrior has joined the time war between the Daleks and Gallifrey, but how far will he go? What lines will he cross? How much of himself will he sacrifice? This box set features the stories A Mother's Love by Noga Flation, Berserker by Timothy X. Atak, and Memnos by Phil Mulrain. The Sixth Doctor Adventures, Purity Unleashed. Marine biologist Hebe Harrison has vanished from the timelines, and the Doctor and Mel must find a way of getting their new friend back, but little do they realise what perils lie ahead, or who stands against them. 
this is a really fun box set. I, I love this arc personally with Hebe and Purity and all that sort of stuff. This is a really strong one, particularly uh, Broadway Belongs to Mel. Really fun, really campy. We're very reminiscent of what that era could have been like on TV there. But trust me, with this little line of stories, the best is yet to come. The War Master. Solitary Confinement. The Drain Institute is home to the galaxy's most criminally deranged. Patients are kept locked away for the protection of themselves and the rest of the universe, with their most dangerous kept in active isolation. The Master is one such convalescent. He has no memory of how he came to be there. All he knows for certain is he should be. His presence is part of a greater design. This box set contains the stories The Walls of Absence by James Goss, The Long Despair by Tim Foley, The Life and Loves of Mr. Alexander Bennett by Alfie Shaw, and The Kicker by Trevor Baxendale. The War Master series is honestly one of, if not my all-time favourite. From Big Finish, I love how they explore the depths of this particular incarnation and just the, the, the true levels, honestly, of darkness and evil that he's willing to go. You know, so many of the Doctor's friends and people we meet along the way, like new friends as well, get treated so badly by him. But I guess that's just testament to, again, the, the evil, the pure evil and the twistedness, the manipulation, the power of this incarnation. And Derek Jacobi, as you'd expect, knocks it out of the park without fail every single time. Doctor Who Once and Future, The Artist at the End of Time Suffering the effects of degeneration, the Doctor heads towards the end of the universe in search of answers. Instead, he finds his daughter, Jenny, and an artist whose works appear to mark the end of every world they touch. The Fourth Doctor Adventures, Angels and Demons The Doctor and his companions, Leela and Margaret, find themselves deep in trouble. In the recent past, fighting a very local war, in a world of stories and battling against statues that move, but perhaps the greatest difficulty will be going home. This box set features the stories The Wizard of Time by Roy Gill, The Friendly Invasion by Chris Chapman, Stone Cold by Roland Moore, and The Ghost of Margaret by Tim Foley. A nice conclusion to Neris Hughes coming in as Margaret. She's just a bit, she, she's quite a joy to have, and her combination with the fourth Doctor and Leela is a delight to listen to. So if you're already a fan of Neris as an actor, definitely check her out in this. The Seventh Doctor Adventures, Far From Home. Harry and Naomi are back in the TARDIS, travelling with a very different Doctor to the one they first met, and he has promised to get them home. The TARDIS takes them to Earth, but a dangerous era decades before their own, and when they visit the aftermath of a distant supernova, Harry is keener than ever to return to home comforts. But Naomi isn't so certain. This box set contains the stories Operation Dusk by Alfie Shaw and Naomi's Ark by Alison Winter. It also includes the bonus audiobook Frozen Worlds, by Catherine Armitage, and performed by Sophie Aldred. Unit, Nemesis 4, Masters of Time. As if the alien Volpreme weren't enough, what remains of Unit faces another formidable adversary. The Mercurial Time Lord Missy is on the side of the Volpreme, helping and encouraging them in their ambition to become the rulers of not just the Earth, but of all space and time. This box set contains the stories One Way or Another by John Dorney, Traitor's Gate by Sarah Grochala, the Destiny Labyrinth by Alison Winter, and True Nemesis by Andrew Smith. A nice conclusion to the Nemesis series. I must admit, when it started, I wasn't overtly sure on it, but as it's gone on with the introduction of the, the Vulpreen and as the threat's grown and grown, it's come to be quite a cracking little tale. Doctor Who, Once and Future, a genius for war. In the midst of the Time War, the Time Lords have received a communication from Falcus, the prison moon of Scaro. Its sole inmate, Davros, wishes to make them an offer. He will help them win the Time War, but only if the Doctor comes to his rescue. A lovely pairing here with the Seventh Doctor and of Terry Malloy's Davros. I mean, Terry Malloy always does a wonderful job, but seeing him go to loggerheads with the Seventh Doctor, who in himself is a very manipulative incarnation, gorgeous stuff. The Second Doctor adventures, James Robert McCrimmon. James Robert McCrimmon faced countless horrors while traveling with the Doctor, but when the Time Lords returned the Highlander to his rightful place in history, almost all of these memories were lost to him. Now the Doctor is back and needs his old friend by his side for more adventures, but this time, their mission's set by the sinister Raven. This box set features the stories Jamie by Mark Wright, The Green Man by Paul F. Verhoeven, and The Shroud by Bob Ayres. The Ninth Doctor adventures Travel in Hope. The Doctor crosses paths with many travelers, some at the start of their journey, some well on their way. 
from the remote nodes of a transmat network, to solving crimes at a spaceship service station, or helping a friend climb the political ladder, sometimes the journey is more interesting and more dangerous than the destination. This box set features the stories Below There by Lauren Mooney and Stuart Pringle, The Butler Did It by James Moran, and Run by Robert Valentine. Doctor Who wants some future, two's company. Back on Earth, the Doctor finds a clue in the search for the origins of the degeneration weapon. In his sixth body, he meets Jackie Tyler and Lady Christina D'Souza, thrown together by fate, or something more, in a pursuit of a powerful item of jewellery. This one, again, this is pure camp, this is pure bonkersness, and I love every single second of it. I don't even care of the, the random pairings of the sixth Doctor, Jackie, Lady Christina, and Harry. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's marvellous, man. The Diary of River Song, The Orphan Quartet. An old enemy hides beyond the universe, a desolate Cornish inn confronts the truth, a grieving mother holds on to a deadly memento of war, and has the Earth failed to notice it's been invaded? Professor River Song must solve all of this while dealing with a loss of her own. This box set contains the stories The Excise Men by Lou Morgan, Harvest of the Crotons by James Goss, Dead Men Talking by Tim Foley, and The Wife of River Song by Lizzie Hopley. Special shout out to Harvest of the Crotons because <laughs> River Jackie Crotons. That's all you need to know, and it's brilliant. The Sixth Doctor Adventures, Purity Unbound. The Doctor, Mel and Hebe are reunited, but Purity's temporal meddling has altered history as they know it. To make matters worse, whatever is left of the being once known as Patricia McBride is still intent on fulfilling her grand design for humanity. This box set contains the stories Girl in a Bubble by Jacqueline Rayner, The Corruptions by Mark Wright, and The Wrong Side of History by Robert Valentine. A wonderful conclusion to this series. As I mentioned before, I love the, the tone of this story. I love the dynamic with Hebe, the Doctor and Mel. Patricia's sort of descent and downfall to become Purity is marvellous. Honestly, give all four box sets in this series a listen. I, I You won't be disappointed, I'm telling you. A really nice conclusion. The Fifth Doctor Adventures in the Night. The Doctor, Nyssa and Tegan find themselves trapped in history and discover that even the most familiar of pasts can still conceal surprises. This box set contains the stories Pursuit of the Nightjar by Tim Foley and Resister by Sarah Gochala, Doctor Who, Once and Future, The Martian Invasion of Planetoid 50. The first Doctor arrives in Victorian London amid a Martian invasion, but he discovers all is not what it seems when Missy appears. Soon the Doctor is propelled into a future incarnation, the Tenth, but he is not alone in battling Missy and her Martian invaders. Rose Tyler, the Dimension Cannon, trapped. After a disastrous dimension jump, Rose is trapped in a strange and dangerous reality. Rose's mission is to save the multiverse, but first, she must save herself. This box set contains the stories Sink or Swim by Lizzie Hopley, The Lower Road by Tim Foley, and The Good Samaritan by Helen Goldwyn. You must, must, must listen to the Dimension Canon series. When you think about the concept, when I first heard it, I didn't think much of it, but all three box sets in this series, and this one's no exception, have been phenomenal to listen to if particularly if you grew up in the rtd era or the first one you know that 2000s vibe of doctor who this will be right up your street just as the rani series worked for sarah jane fans this will work for you i'm telling you gallifrey war room maneuvers the war room coordinates the fight against the daleks but there is a battle for control rival cardinals rasmus and Alistra manipulate leela vecklin and the general seeking rassilon's favor and beyond gallifrey Narvin and the Resistance are making their own moves to stop the Time War. This box set contains the stories Collaborators by Catherine Armitage, Remnants by Georgia Cook, Transference by Theo Trethway, and Ambition's Debt by Catherine Armitage. Doctor Who, Once and Future, Time Lord Immemorial. Slipping between bodies, the Ninth Doctor finds his TARDIS caught between universes as the cosmos starts to break down. A Doctor from another reality arrives, and they join forces with Livchenka, and the Lumiat to find the cause. The Third Doctor adventures Intelligence for War. The Doctor and Liz Shaw investigate a disturbing incident in the quiet Norfolk village of Huncleath, involving a vanishing Nazi soldier. Is time travel technology to blame? And what is the link between the disappearance of the village's wealthiest resident, Francis Teeling, and anti-war campaigners in Cambridge? 
This is a wonderful, wonderful example of a longer third Doctor story. I'm always a big fan of when they do this, like the six and seven parters that Big Finish have been dropping recently. Give me that immense season seven vibe, which is one of, if not my all-time favorite season of classic Doctor Who. And just the third Doctor list short and unit, how can you go wrong? The Paternoster Gang, Trespassers, Rogue's Gallery. Victorian England is home to the great detective, Madame Vastra, her resourceful spouse, Jenny Flint, and their loyal valet, Strax. Solving conundrums, fighting injustice, and capturing criminals are all in a day's work for the gang, but the most dangerous threat is one that takes up residents undetected. There are trespassers in London, and they're coming to Paternoster Row. This box set contains the stories The Ghost and the Potato Man by Barnaby Kay, Symmetry of Death by Dan Starkey, and Till Death to Us Part by Lisa McMullen. Doctor Who, Once and Future, The Union. The Doctor responds to a distress call from his granddaughter Susan, taking him to the Diamond Array, a huge multidimensional space station. Once there, his instability increases as the fourth and eighth Doctors discover the Array's terrible purpose. This is the, well, the initial conclusion to the Once and Future series. A lot of people have said it's a mixed bag. I do think the overall story was quite intriguing with the whole degeneration thing. There is meant to be like a coda, a final piece that is dropping in November of this year, 2024. So I'll be able, I'll be curious to see how that really ties it all up. But as it stands, the Union's a pretty solid finale. The Eighth Doctor Adventures, Audacity. The Doctor is about to gain a new best friend. Lady Audacity Montague has carved her own path in Regency England. She has also been watching the heavens, wondering what lies beyond. When the Doctor Gate crashes one of her famous society balls, Audacity is given the chance to find out. This box set contains the stories The Devouring by Lisa McMullen, The Great Cyber War Part 1 and 2 by Tim Foley. Audacity is a wonderful character played amazingly by Jay Griffiths. I just, I love her energy. She's very vibrant, very energetic, very... Uh, like up for the adventure so to speak and I think she gels really really well with Paul McGann's eighth doctor I just really hope there's more to come in the years going down the line because hearing Jay speak about this story and like science fiction in general she's got such an enthusiasm such a interesting like take on it all so I do hope there's more the war master rogue encounters throughout his many lives the master has visited myriad places and planets some he has spared others he has destroyed but all have felt his presence however fleeting. This box set contains the stories Runtime by Tim Foley, Manhunt by Rachana Patel, The Sublime Port by James Goss, and Alone by Scott Hancock. Another wonderful series of The War Master, and to have Murray Melvin as well, one of the last things he recorded before he passed away, you know, Derek Jacobi and Murray Melvin interacting, to see The War Master, you know, afraid of some scenarios in this box set is quite, quite spine-tingling. So again, another big recommend from me, one of my favourite, if not my favourite series that Big Finish currently produce. The Tenth Doctor Chronicles, Defender of the Earth. The Doctor's always loved the Earth, he witnessed its birth and watched it die. It's the home to some of his best friends, and even temporarily his as well. Throughout his history, many alien species have tried to conquer the Earth. Unfortunately for them, the planet is defended, and as these invaders are about to learn, the Doctor would do anything to save it. This box set contains the stories The Thing in the Forest by Trevor Baxendale, The Opacity Factor by Carl Rowans, Freedom or Death by Alice Cavender, and The Siege of Shackleton by Una McCormack. The Eighth Doctor Adventures in the Bleak Midwinter. Midwinter is a magical time, a season of hope and renewal, a time to spend with friends, and with both Audacity and Charlie by his side, the Doctor is looking to celebrate. But the season also brings cold and darkness, and the TARDIS travellers are about to experience three very different winter's tales. This box set contains the stories 24 Doors in December by John Dorney, The Empty Man by Tim Foley, and Winter of the Demon by Roy Gill. Like I said, the character of Audacity is wonderful, and she blends even better with both Paul and India Fisher playing Charlie. It's a wonderful little TARDIS trio, and again, I just hope that it continues for quite some time. The War Doctor Begins, Enemy Mine. The Doctor is no more. A warrior has joined the time war between the Daleks and Gallifrey. But how far will he go? What lines will he cross? How much of himself will he sacrifice? This box set contains the stories The Hybrid's Choice by Ajaz Awad Ibrahim, Fear Nothing by Mark Wright, and Exit Strategy by Matt Fitton. The Eleventh Doctor Chronicles, Everywhere and Anywhere. Travelling in the TARDIS is filled with unimaginable delights, 
You can visit every wonder in the universe, meet the founders of a civilization in the morning, and their descendants in the afternoon. You get to witness the best of everything history has to offer. However, when you can go everywhere and anywhere, you also see the dark side of the universe. The cruelty, and the hatred, and the violence. The worst the universe has to offer must be fought. That's what the Doctor and Valerie do. They hold back the darkness, whatever the cost. This box set contains the story Spirit of the Season by Georgia Cook, All's Fair by Max Kashevsky, and Sins of the Flesh by Alfie Shaw. Rani takes on the world, the revenge of Wormwood. Sarah Jane Smith and the kids of Bannerman Road face many dangers in their time. Alien soldiers, robot armies, and immortal tricksters. But one in particular proved a persistent foe. One of the Bane, aliens with their greedy sights set on Earth. This box set contains the stories Time Schisms by Lizbeth Miles, The Star-Crossed Diversion by Alison Winter, and The Ghosts of Bannerman Road by Jonathan Morris. Another stellar series of this, and nice to have uh, Tommy Knight back as Luke Smith as well, really completing that old trio of the gang there. Also fab to have Samantha Bond come back as Mrs. Wormwood and the Bane. If you want that 2007 feels again, this box set's going to give you it. The Seventh Doctor Adventures, The Last Day, Part 1. There is always injustice to fight. There is always a new danger for the universe. But what if the Doctor found a way to put things right once and for all? Would it really be so terrible to take a stand? Would the end justify the means? And would his friends agree? The Seventh Doctor's last day is coming. A very interesting six-part opener. And yes, there's six more parts to this, which are coming out later in 2024. But this has a whole collection of people from the Seventh Doctor's life. And I'm just, it's a very intriguing concept. It's a slow burn, but consider me interested. I'm hooked. Sontarans versus Rutans. The Battle of Giants Causeway. The war between the Sontarans and the Rutans has been going on for millennia and is likely to continue for millennia more. A temporal tidal wave leads the Doctor, Charlie, and Kerris to the Giants Causeway, Ireland, 55 BC, where the TARDIS drains of power and they encounter Sontarans who believe they're Roman legionnaires. What has caused this, and what is the strange secret in the rocks? The First Doctor Adventures, Fugitive of the Daleks. Years after ending her travels with the Doctor, Vicky finds herself back in the TARDIS. The Doctor desperately needs her help, and she's only too happy to oblige. But in the process, the two of them fall into a series of perilous encounters with the dreaded Daleks never far behind them. This is honestly a wonderful story, a contender for one of my favourites of 2024 so far, beautifully acted by Stephen Noonan, whose first Doctor is just continuing to impress, and I fall in love with more and more the more I hear it. Maureen O'Brien as well, playing Vicky. She hasn't lost any of what made the character so likeable nearly 60 years ago, mind you. She delivers a wonderful performance here. This is a rip-roaring six-part, and the Daleks are in it as well. You could say it's sort of like a spiritual successor to the chase and very much paying homage to that story, but there's several little delightful twists and turns, and if you like the first Doctor team, if you like the vibe of the 60s stuff, then this is a must-listen. But I'd recommend this actually to anyone who wants a good big finish to listen to. One of the best of the year so far, without doubt. 11th Doctor Chronicles, Victory of the Doctor. A long time ago, during every second of existence, there was a war, an impossible war between gods and monsters, a war that should have killed them both. Only the gods are dead and the monsters are back, stronger than ever. The monsters are coming for all of creation. The universe's only hope for survival lies in a blue box. The Doctor and Valerie Lockwood, the unstoppable duo ready to stop the monsters and save the universe once again. Except this time, the price of victory might be too high. This is a amazing conclusion to the 11th Doctor and Valerie series we've had now for a long time. And Jacob Dudman and Safia Inga just honestly phenomenal performances. This is what Series 7 of Doctor Who on telly should have been, damn it. I'm telling you. On, I mean, I, I digress really, but I mean, this is phenomenal. This is insanely good 11th Doctor content here. And as someone who never really connected with that era on telly, the 11th Doctor's era, I've fallen in love with this incarnation all over again through these box sets, particularly since he's been paired with Valerie. They're just a great duo, great stories, great performances all round. Please give these box sets a listen. Sontarans versus Rutans, the children of the future. The Brigadier is used to the Doctor acting strangely, but this time, there's something decidedly different about the whole affair. As he looks into the Time Lord's odd activities outside of Unit, 
there's a mystery that will take Lethbridge Stewart to a site very familiar to Sarah Jane Smith. The third Doctor adventures Revolution in Space. The Doctor and Sarah find themselves in an asteroid on the outer reaches of Earth's solar system. It's the future, and humans have colonized this inhospitable place to mine vital minerals to supply their home planet. However, links with Earth are becoming even more strained, and forces within the colony are seeking independence. Revolution is in the air. This is a peak like series. Uh, this is peak season 11 vibes, you know, the Doctor and Sarah. Absolutely what you'd expect back in 1974. And Tim Trelaw and Sadie Miller, great performances as the third Doctor and Sarah. The ninth Doctor adventures, buried threats. Not all perils faced by the Doctor are as obvious as an alien invasion. Some threats have been buried for millennia, some for mere centuries, and some hide inside a troubled mind. But whenever he finds injustice, danger, or just an irresistible mystery, the Doctor won't stop digging until the truth is uncovered. This box set contains the stories A Theatre of Cruelty by Lisa McMullen, The Running Men by Mark Wright, and Ancient History by Matt Fitton. The Ninth Doctor and Benny coming together, just as brilliant as you'd imagine it to be. Master, Planet Doom. The Master and Vienna Salvatore form an unlikely alliance when they're forced into joining an expedition to a forbidden planet. Accompanied by elite marines, government scientists, and a corporate mercenary with access to some very old unit files, they go in search of an ancient subterranean labyrinth infested by an alien life form the Master knows all too well. This box set contains the stories Basilisk by Robert Whitelock, Axos Rising by Barnaby Kay, and Hellbound by Robert Valentine. The Fourth Doctor Adventures Storm of the Sea Devils. This box set contains the stories Storm of the Sea Devils by David K. Barnes and Worlds Beyond by Robert Kahn and Tom Solinsky. Sontarans vs. Rutans, Born to Die. When a trip to the planet Taxodon goes wrong, the Doctor finds himself with mere hours to prove himself innocent of murdering a Sontaran. As more die, the Doctor and Charlie need to uncover the cause and why the Sontarans are even on this planet, if they have time. Classic Doctor's New Monsters broken memories. This box set features the stories Invasion of the Body Stealers by Jonathan Morris, The Queen of Clocks by Jacqueline Rayner, The Silent Priest by David K. Barnes, and The Silent City by David K. Barnes. The Sixth Doctor Adventures, The Quinn Dilemma. To celebrate 40 years of wandering through time and space in style, the Sixth Doctor and some of his best friends are about to find themselves in the adventure of his lives. This box set features the stories The Exaltation by Jacqueline Rayner, Escape from Holy Island by Chris Chapman, Sibling Rivalry by Robert Valentine, Children of the Revolution by Robert Valentine, The Thousand Year Thor by Chris Chapman, and The Firstborn by Jacqueline Rayner. The Quinn Dilemma, what can I say? It's a loving tribute to 40 years of the Sixth Doctor, encompassing his whole lifetime really from beginning to end, a whole range of companions from beginning to end. You've got Perry, you've got Mel, Constance, Flip, references. There's so much juicy stuff in here. Colin Baker still sounding as great as ever, giving a wonderful performance. I love the, the wacky story that centers around all this. It's just brilliant. So if you listen to it, well, I already recommended the last six Doctor series, but they're firing on all cylinders. You definitely need to listen to this if you're a fan of old Sixie. The Twelfth Doctor Chronicles, You Only Die Twice. Agent Who? When the Time Agency faces its greatest threat, Kira Sandstrom knows there's only one man for the job, but saving the universe is one thing. Keeping Agent Doctor in line is a far more impossible mission. This box set features the stories Sunstrike by Georgia Cook, Never the End Is by Ben Teds, and You Only Die Twice by Theo Trethaway. What a fun little box set. Looking at the fun side of the, of the 12th Doctor, I mean, he's my favorite ever Doctor on the telly. I mean, uh, Peter Capaldi, wonderful actor. Jacob Dudman reads him for him here. But these are just really fun. This could definitely slot into series 10 of the modern show. So props to this. I don't know if they're going to make any more. But, you know, if, if Peter's not going to come and do Big Finish, these are great sets to have nonetheless. And that, dear viewer, is everything I picked up from the past year over at Big Finish. A lot of stuff focusing on a lot of different Doctors, even like the worlds of Doctor Who as well. And on the whole, I've had a great time as I always have. The thing about Big Finish, and I know a lot of people say this, and some might accuse me of being biased since I have worked on two stories for them, which is fair enough, but honestly, the quality of the, of the writing on these box sets, 
the performances that are given on these box sets, the the worlds that these box sets you know cover and all that sort of stuff. It truly is top tier Doctor Who stuff, and really keeps us going when the show isn't on the telly. There's a wealth of content to delve into, including the classic stuff Big Finish have done as well. But to pick a favourite from the last year, that's really tough. I mean, I could either go with Victory of the Daleks, I could go with something as recent as The Quinn Dilemma. But I think for me, going with my gut, my absolute favourite release from this year was probably Fugitive of the Daleks. Now, I love my first Doctor stuff, and this, again, as I mentioned, is just a really big love letter to the 60s, to Vicky, to William Hartnell, just... It's, it's glorious. So again, go and listen to that. That's probably my favorite release of the past year. But there's been many top tier releases which I've commented on here. But I want to know what you've listened to. Let me know in the comments. What out of these releases have you listened to? What would you recommend for people? What have you enjoyed? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really does help us out. And subscribe as well. We would love to have you aboard. In the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV Who. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time for another trip in the TARDIS. Yeah.